society can prevent those who are manifestly unfit from continuing their kind. Three generations of imbeciles are enough. I do not join in the belief that the African is our equal in brain or in heart. We are paying for and even submitting to the dictates of an ever-increasing, unceasingly spawning class of human beings who never should have been born at all. The laws of nature require the obliteration of the unfit. The best way to hate a nigger is to hate him before he is born. American eugenicists were routinely praising Hitler and holding up the Nazi eugenics program as a model for the United States to copy. Non-white races must be excluded from America. The red and black races, if left to themselves, revert to a savage or semi-savage state in a short time. The only way possible of decreasing Negro population is by means of controlling fertility. Birth control facilities could be extended relatively more to Negroes than to whites since Negroes are more concentrated in the lower income and education classes. We hope that the restraint of population growth can come about through voluntary means. But if it does not, involuntary methods will be used. There should be national sterilization for certain dysgenic types of our population who are being encouraged to breed and would die out were the government not feeding them. If this movement continues, we soon may be accused of fighting poverty by eliminating the poor and overcoming hunger by removing the hungry. For all their failures, what the eugenics movement had accomplished was to lay the foundation for the next phase of their plan. And this is where they would find the success that they had been chasing for over 100 years.